Here I am with a science vocabulary reader. The title is Chick Life Cycle. I thought that this would go well with the old lady who swallowed a chick. The author is Elizabeth Bennett. It's published by Scholastic Books. Chick Life Cycle. Our nonfiction book begins with a table of contents. You can see that there are four chapters in the book. We're going to learn about chicks and chickens, an egg is laid, time to hatch, and growing up. Then I see at the end of the book, there's a glossary and comprehension questions. Remember the glossary tells us the meaning of important words in the book that might be new to us. Chapter one, chicks and chickens. Cheep, cheep, cluck, cluck. This book will tell you all about chicks and chickens. A baby chicken is called a chick. An adult female chicken is called a hen and an adult male chicken is called a rooster. Here you can see the adult male, the rooster, the adult female, a hen, and her chicks. These pictures show seven breeds of chickens. How is each one different? Let's look here. We know there are different breeds of dogs, different kinds of dogs. This shows seven. This is a buff Brahma, a white leghorn, a derby red cap. So there's those three. Then on the next page, we have white lace red Cornish, a silver campine, a Dominique, and a New Hampshire red. There's those four. Not all chickens look the same. There are more than 100 breeds of chickens in the world. That means there's more than 100 different kinds of chickens. All the chickens in one breed have feathers with the same color and pattern. Parts of a chicken. This picture shows the main parts of an adult chicken. Chickens have feathers and wings, but they cannot fly very far. They get around by walking. Remember we call this type of picture that's labeled a diagram? It, this one shows us the parts of a chicken. We have the tail feathers, the comb, the beak, the wattle. Remember we learned that turkeys have those earlier in the year. Here's a wing and the claw. Both hens and roosters have red combs and wattles, but chickens do not start out looking this way. Let's learn about their life cycle to see how they grow and change. Chapter two, an egg is laid. See this hen, she is laying an egg. Most hens lay one or two eggs a day. Fast fact, if an egg is not fertilized, then a chick does not grow inside. These are the eggs we eat for breakfast. If the egg has been fertilized by a rooster, a chicken begins to grow inside. Inside the egg. Let's take a peek inside a fertilized egg. One day, the tiny red dot in this egg means a baby chick will grow inside. Five days. The chick-to-be is growing at this point. It is called an embryo. And if you look carefully, you can see that. Nine days. The embryo continues to grow and change. Can you see a little eye? Look carefully. 21 days, now the baby chick looks like a bird. It is almost ready to hatch. It takes about three weeks for the egg to develop into a chick. Chapter three, time to hatch. 
A hen sits on her eggs until it's time for them to hatch. She keeps them nice and warm. This is called incubation. Okay. That's an important word. Do you catch what it means? She's sitting on those eggs to keep them nice and warm until they hatch. When a chick is ready to be born, it uses its egg tooth to break through the shell. So here you can see it breaking through. And then here they zoomed in. We've got a fun fact. The lump on a chick's beak is called an egg tooth. It's not a tooth like we have in our mouth, but they, I guess, call it that because it kind of looks and works like a tooth. Peck, peck, peck. The chick pecks small holes around the egg. Then it uses its head to push open the shell. Chicken eggs can be white or brown. The chick keeps pecking and pushing. At last, the tired chick is out of the egg. Welcome to the world. The fast fact says it takes most chicks about five hours to hatch from their eggs. Chapter four, growing up. When a chick is first born, it doesn't look so cute. It is very wet and very sticky. But soon the feathers dry and become fluffy. This fluff is called down. The fast fact on this page tells us a group of newborn chicks is called a brood. The new chick explores the world with its mother and fellow chicks. There is much to discover. And we've got another fast, fast fact here. This one says, chicks eat feed, which is a mixture of grains. It helps them to grow strong. The little chick gets bigger and bigger. It learns how to make a cheeping sound. This helps the chick's mother to find it. Cheep, cheep. In a few weeks, the chick sprouts feathers and a tiny red comb and waddle. In a few months, it'll be all grown up. Excellent. And we've got one more fast fact. This says a five-month-old female chicken is old enough to lay eggs. And then here's the glossary. If you didn't catch the meaning of all those words, you can pause it here and look to see what they mean. And then, we also have some questions at the end if you want to pause and look at those questions to answer. 